Well, hey guys, this is Spiffy Guy, and tucked in the corner of my basement is this wonderful little thing we're talking about today. This is a PVC uh, seed rack, and I'm going to grow um, out some seedlings, uh, tomatoes, peppers, uh, cucumbers, those things that need to uh, get a head start on life before I stick them out in the garden. So this is what we're going to be building on this episode of Around the Home. Started, let's talk materials here and exactly what we're using. Uh, I'm using PVC pipe because it's uh, it's a lot easier to work with, and it uh, is pretty weather resistant. And you know it's not as expensive as wood. Now I'm using the half inch stuff because the half inch uh, fittings were a lot cheaper than the one inch. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of T's, so I bought the uh, these right here. This is a uh, contractor packs. It's uh, 10 T's in each bag, and they were about 250 a pop. For each bag as opposed to actually 90 cents per fitting for the one inch so using half inch you can really save uh, some cash on this little project um, and i don't think you're going to really run into any strength or durability problems uh, so like i said i got 20 t's here that's uh, two contractor packs and i have uh, a bunch of sticks of uh, half inch pvc uh, the 10 foot sections are pretty cheap if you have scrap you can use whatever you want um, also in the back there, I've got a T8 lighting fixture and a uh, pair of T8 bulbs. I'm going to be using a 48 inch light fixture and I went ahead with the T8 bulbs as opposed to the T12 because the T12s are not made anymore and eventually I'm going to run out of bulbs. So I figured I'd just go with the T8 to begin with. Uh, the bulb selection was a little iffy at Home Depot. Uh, I was told that the um, the Daylight Deluxe bulbs are really good from Philips. They're a 6,500 Kelvin bulb. Um, they didn't have those in a, a double pack. They had them in a uh, 30 or an 80 pack, and I didn't feel like spending 150 bucks on a couple light bulbs. So I went ahead and got this uh, pack, and this is just the uh, natural light. It is a 5K or a 5 Kelvin uh, or 5,000 Kelvin uh color uh, i don't think it'll be a problem i think um the higher the kelvin probably the better if you can get the 6500 that would be a great bulb but we'll see how these work also i have um you can see here i've got a little saw a little measuring tape sharpie and then this piece of wood right here this is just sort of some sort of luon material that i'm going to going to set down as sort of decking you can use any scrap wood that you have you could use cardboard whatever would be strong enough so let's uh start measuring some stuff out and uh we'll get cutting all righty so i got the bottom put together and uh let me just kind of show you what i did here um this is just kind of give you a view with the uh the lamp behind it now keep in mind that my lamp is 48 inches long you could do this with a three foot lamp. You could do this with a, a, a two foot lamp. So your sizing may be a little bit different. You could even do this a very long with an eight foot lamp and uh, have a serious seed growing uh, apparatus. But uh, I did mine 48 inches. Uh, so roughly it came out, I think about 53 in total. So let me, let me show you what I did here. Now over here at the uh, at the ends here, you can see I've got T's. Those are sort of my legs, and that also gives me the expandability. If I want to uh, stack these, I can go ahead and stack them. And then I've got the three cross braces. Uh, one in the middle here, uh, you'll notice I have a T here, and then a T right there. And that is, it got a little bendy in the middle, uh, so I just toss those in there to stabilize. So in between the two T's, I'm just using a two inch piece of PVC. So I've got a little two inch piece there and there, and then over here as well, two inch PVC, two inch PVC. Same on the other side, okay? So this is really easy to put together. Uh, this distance in here I think was like 23 and a half. Uh, I forget what these are, like 20. Uh, you'll have to you know, kind of play with it and find out what works well and what kind of evens up a little bit. Now I am going to go ahead and glue these because I think it'll add a little bit of stability to it. And if I do want to move the rack around, I want to make sure that the parts aren't necessarily going to come apart. So that's up to you whether you want to use PVC glue or not. So, um, and as I mentioned, um, 
you know I have a 48 inch light here and I'll show you how that uh, hangs here in just a minute so the uprights that go in here and here and then also over here and here those are gonna be 27 inches that gives me um, you know a fairly decent height my plants once they if the light is at the full height if the plants are getting that high then most likely they're gonna be heading outside so um, if you're going to be growing using this as a growing indoor scenario, you may need to have a little bit more adjustability on your lights. But uh, keep in mind the uh, the width of your light fixture itself when planning your maximum height. All right, so we're going to put the top together, and um, I'm going to end up hanging my light from this. So you can see pretty much it's the same as the bottom. We've got the T's on the end, and then there's the uh, the little two inch here. And then we've got the cross braces. So I'll end up hanging from this cross brace and this cross brace as well. So I, this is kind of a broken down, exploded view, if you will. Just kind of give you an idea of all the parts here. Uh, these sections right here are about 22, I think. And uh, the cross pieces are about 14 inches. Like I said, it depends on the light fixture that you're using, how big you want to make it. But uh, that's kind of where mine uh, kind of ended up. I dry fit everything. And then I, uh, you know, kind of checked it out, make sure I liked the way that it looked, and now I'm gluing everything back together. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces together, and we'll put the top on. Okay, folks, so this is sort of the uh, the final product here. You can see I've got my uh, my little 48-inch light fixture hanging there. Um, I put in some actual thicker boards on the bottom because the other one was a bit too flexible, uh, and the parts where there's no cross brace here and here. But uh, I'm just using scrap wood. You probably don't need anything. You could use whatever you want. And then, uh, you know, I just run the cable up over the top. And you can see the top there. And that just holds the frame all together. Now, I'll stick this on a, uh, a light timer. And that way the lights will come on and off. And i got to figure out what the cycle is going to be. But I figure, you know, 12 to maybe 15 hours of uh, light. Um, i got to read into it. I've never done this before. So, you know, if you have any suggestions on timing, stick them below. And so uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, it's a pretty easy project to do. Uh, maybe overkill for seed starting, but uh, it's kind of fun. And uh, I, I just put a, uh, you know, let me bring you in here, show you how I just put a, a little trucker's hitch right there to uh, raise and lower the light as I need to. And so now I just need to clean off, uh, clear out a place here in the basement to put it. Uh, I'm not too worried about heat in the basement. I think uh, the lights will put off a little bit of heat and, uh, you know, I think it should be warm enough for the seeds to sprout, but we'll see. I may need to put some sort of warming pads uh, underneath the uh, the seeds. Uh, you know, it's all uncharted territory at this point. But anyway, I hope that uh, helps some folks out and gives somebody some ideas and encourages you to go out and start growing your seeds. Now, uh, I'm going to get going here in probably about two or three weeks. We'll start the seeds, and that will be about, about eight weeks before my... Uh, last official frost date which uh, I believe in my area is uh, April 29th around there so uh, you know I want to start my seeds six to eight weeks before that and that way they'll be ready to roll uh, once it's time to get out there but I got plenty of other garden projects so be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, check out the Facebook page I'll be putting updates of uh, the seeds uh, over on the uh, Facebook page so you can see how this project uh, comes to bear. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and remember that life's an adventure. So go out and have one.